that's the TV, and we're about to go snowmobile up a remote mountain to play some Fortnite. So come along for the ride if you want to see us catch a win on the mountain. We got the Starlink and the generator all strapped up to the snowmobile. We got the TV strapped up to the backpack and Shell's gonna wear it down the trail, play some Fortnite on a remote mountain. There he oh, is. Geez. Hitting the snowmobile with the with the TV. There. Or is it hitting the TV with the snowmobile? <laughs> is it too heavy for you, bud? No, it's just really awkward. It's a little sideways. Oh, I feel it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that setup. <clears throat> we're, we're about to go play some extreme Fortnite out here. We gotta go right in to the spot. And we're off. We're gonna snowmobile about 10 or 15 miles to try and find a nice spot to play Fortnite. I've got the 50 inch TV on my back. Michael's got the Starlink and the generator. And I've got the Xbox all loaded up with some extra batteries. We're gonna go out there and see if we can catch a dub. This giant TV on my back feels like a parachute pulling me backwards. If you haven't tried it already, snowmobiling is one of the best sports ever made. Because when you float through the snow, it feels like you're almost flying in an airplane instead. I've never seen a TV go this fast on a snowmobile. We got some snow coming down. It's gonna be an interesting game. It's gonna be interesting finding a good spot to play Fortnite out here because we've gotta get away from all the other people. And so it's not so noisy and we've gotta make it to somewhere where we won't get stuck with this giant TV on my back. And I almost forgot, we've gotta get somewhere where the Starlink can see well so it can get a good signal. TV's starting to dig into my lower back. Good thing we're almost there. I'm thinking let's go up there. Michael's not on his normal snowmobile. He's using a different one so he can carry all the Starlink equipment. So we'll see if he can make it where I make it on this snowmobile. I'll try to go over here. Whew, what a ride to get back in here. I had the generator and the Starlink strapped to the back of the sled. It was a bumpy ride. It's a little bit cold up here, a little windy. Snowmobiled all the way up here. Look at that view. No service, no nothing. We got the TV boy. Get the paddle stomped out. Put our TV in so we can sit. Night. Look at this. He had it strapped to his backpack and rode this turbo sled all the way down the trail. Everybody was looking at us like we're crazy, and maybe we are. We're gonna set up the TV, get the Starlink going. Got our Gen 3 Starlink again, putting it to the test. Gonna get this baby undone and powered up. It's Jackery right there. Starlink, TV, Xbox, and all the cords are in the bag right there. Yeah, we're currently out in the middle of nowhere. Like, no service at all. Yeah, we don't even know if the Starlink will work. But we're gonna give it a shot. That's what this series is all about, so give it a try. And hopefully we'll catch a dub here soon. Just to tell you how remote this is, from the nearest town, we're maybe an hour away. An hour away from civilization. So we gotta make this count. Guess I better make my a couch here on the ground here. Stomp that out a little bit. It's a nice little couch. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the TV screen. It's so white and bright out here. You can see it's snowing, you can see it on the TV screen going out in front. 
we're gonna be snowmen after this video. I wonder who else has gone snowmobiling and brought a TV, a Starlink, and a generator to stream Fortnite in the middle of nowhere on a snow-packed mountain. You're watching the two people that are out here doing that right now. We out here, baby. Except, I don't know if the Starlink is out here too. It's taking a while. All right, good news is we got in the game. The Starlink working perfectly right now. We can see the TV screen just enough and we're gonna go win a game of Fortnite. Let's do it. <laughs> you know, these challenges are always such a pain to set up, but it's always kind of fun once we get out of here and do something like this. All right, let's see how body I am today. I'm feeling pretty... I'm feeling pretty body. I'm the Ritzy Riviera. If this video gets 100,000 likes, we'll come back out here and build a snow igloo and play a game of Fortnite in that. Something I really want to know in the comments down below is where do you think would be a cool spot to play Fortnite? If we could play anywhere you could ever imagine, where would it be? One I was thinking of, I think the guys that did the underwater Fortnite faked it. But I was thinking we could actually do that for real. Did you just get a kill? Nice, dude. Alright, this guy needs business and I don't today. <laughs> so you're pointless. You're just guessing. Here, I've got one of these things you like, the uh, the weird stuff. Oh no, he shot, me. he shot me for 50. Uh, oh. My hands are coming out of my hand, hand shirt. Uh. Oh, he got you! Oh no. Where is this boy? Nothing's working. I have the aim of an infant child. He's really gonna push you off? Buddy. Back out of there, go. Run. Run. Save what? Later. They're coming after me. <laughs> I got six health. Save yourself. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh no. At least I got some mats. No! <laughs> I was just turning around to build. Oh man. I don't care what we're doing. I Guy. 
wonder if that's what. Oh! 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 Yes! You got a shield? Put it on. Oh no. You're about to get got by the guy in the car. Watch out to your right! Go! Go! No! 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 no. Get me in the hole! Oh god! No! Oh, 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 no. I can't move fast enough with these cold hands. Alright. Let's make this game count. One last game. This will have to be our last game. We gotta get off the map. And we're just gonna do so bad we're gonna get into the bot lobbies and then we'll win. <laughs> I hope so. Oh man. We got two duos landing with us. But nowhere close. There's quite a few people landing. Oh, finally a bot to kill. Where, where is it? I don't, I don't see where you. Oh, you're right next to me. Yeah. There, I just got that one. Oh. Oh, good thing he's bot. <laughs> got him. <laughs> I was like, man, I am not prepared for this right now. There's somebody in this building. No, not that building. So it must be in the basement. Right there's a basement in this, isn't there? Alright, I'm gonna go see what this is. Breaching! They're behind the door. Oh, behind, behind you. Oh yeah, nice kill. There you are, I couldn't see you. I'm gonna go get this um, storm. Beacon thing. Yeah, we need all the help we can get. Maybe there'll be somebody at higher there too. I can't tell where this these bots are for killing. Hey there! Hey. Alright, forecast secured. Those medallion boys are that's not a medallion boy though. No way. No way a medallion boy would be sitting there letting me shoot him after I Alright, these dudes are right across the way getting hammered on. I don't know, we gotta get closer, let's go. <laughs> here I go. Let's see what oh, he's here. He's here. He's uh... <laughs> oh, you got him already? <laughs> nice dude.
<laughs> How? How did we win that? That's awesome! Wow. Oh, they got caught in storm. Man. Another day, another, another victory for the OGs. the OGs. Let's go! Dude. Third game in. Oh, that was nice. Man, third game up here in the mountains, and we got it. I am actually shocked we got it. But my heart, hey. My heart's pounding a little. <laughs> I really wanted to win. <laughs> Holy cow, that was a close one. That right there is a number one victory royale. So let's go. 12,000 feet. <clears throat> and we're catching victory royales out here. Yep. Say what you want. We might or might not be professionals now. 